Dear friend, In the beginning of 2023, I started working on the first novel that I plan on querying. Today, I'm sharing with you what it's about, as well as my writing goals, schedule and tracker. My hope is to inspire you as you write your own stories, as well as to make the process a little less daunting. Welcome to a creative safe space. I suggest you get yourself a drink. Today, I made something special inspired by my novel. Some stories have clear beginnings, others not so much. The story I'm writing has had many different shapes. It's been included and removed as a subplot from several projects and I no longer know when the first inkling of it made its way to my mind. I do know it started out as a dream, which is quite cliché, but perhaps for a reason. My dreams are usually nonsensical, and I don't remember most of them. This one, however, had a clear plot, which I started exploring soon after I woke up. But, after years of leaving the story in the back of my mind, the plot wasn't what I kept from it. It was the weather, the colors, and the feeling. Oh, and the genre. It's an adult fantasy mystery. Today, it is a story about a lot of things. But mostly, about time. So, at the moment, I'm trying to come up with a logline for this story. It's straight away from the original idea so much that now I just want to make sure that I know what the story is about, I know exactly what I'm writing. I did find a template which is working really well for this story, so I will leave it in the screen in case you want to use it for your story. I'm counting on the novel being around 100,000 words, which is reasonable for an adult fantasy debut and I think fits the complexity of the story. For this book in particular, I plan to go through a total of 4 drafts, from draft 0 to draft 3, plus final touches, and my goal is to finish it in April of 2024. My hope is to query this novel to an agent and hopefully get picked up. 
I actually already have a few agents in mind. These are agents whose work I've been following for a while and whose wish list currently seems like it's kind of begging for my story. Uh, hopefully, once I finish it, the wish list will be the same. But yeah, if queering doesn't work out, I still don't have a plan B, but I just know I'll always be writing stories. So yeah, we'll see. So what does my schedule look like? Three months to get the basics down. 12 months to get the story shining and one month for final touches and then I plan to work on querying. So last month I shared with you my best tips on how to stick to a writing schedule. My own schedule is based on my own personal process which works for me as well as on the time I currently have to spend writing and working on this novel. I've already shared how I brainstorm and outline and I'll keep sharing my process. So for example, next month I'll be writing the zero draft and I will be sharing how I do it when the time comes. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and Now, the reason why the first three stages of my process are so short compared to the rest is because I find truth in the saying, writing is rewriting. I love editing stories and making them better once the words are already on the page. I love moving things around, adding foreshadowing, rereading and rewriting sentences and making everything flow. I do also love the zero draft, but it's always the biggest challenge for me to get through, which is why the fastest I get it done, the better. However, in order to be able to fast draft effectively, I need to have a pretty good outline, which is why I allow myself two months for brainstorming and outline. Some stories require more, some less, but since this story is not 100% new, this is how much time I gave myself. <laughs> to be honest, January was so different from what I was expecting, and February as well, and you can clearly see this in my writing tracker. So, even though my current ideal writing time per week is 8 to 12 hours, which would add up to 28 to 48 hours total in January, the reality was that, because of the reasons I mentioned in my last community post, I wrote for a total of 16 hours in the entire month. Which makes sense, because I wrote on 15 separate days, which means that, on average, I was writing every other day. The good news is that, despite the little time I spent writing, it was actually time well spent because in January I did get the bits, the main bits of the story sketched out, and in February I started outlining and so far I'm on track, but I do think the outline will move into the first or second week of March which is okay with me because then I will be fast drafting the novel and uh, you know challenging myself to kind of binge write the whole thing which is gonna be interesting <laughs> so far even though the process is slow I'm really happy with what I've got and you know where the story is going so all in all good <laughs> but moving on let me show you how I track my writing and why so each session's name depends on how many separate days I spent writing so far so for example day 13 of writing was actually on January 16th because I skipped two days 
My reason for tracking this is because I want to know exactly how many separate days it took me to finish this novel. Then we have the total time, which I track in minutes. As I'm recording this video, I've written for a total of 1595 minutes, which translates into 26 hours and 35 minutes. I still don't have daily word counts because I'll only be tracking them when I draft. Once I start tracking word counts, this formula will give me my writing speed, aka word per hour. So imagine I wrote 500 words in 25 minutes, that means I was writing at 1200 words per hour. Then at the bottom I have total words written so far and my average writing speed. I also like to track how much time exactly I spend working on each act, which is why I have this section. And finally, I like to know how I felt about each writing session. Did I struggle? Was it okay? Did I love it? And that's it for the writing tracker. So you can see that these past sessions have kind of been a struggle and that's because as I outline each scene and come up with solutions for that scene, then I have to change what happens in other scenes, either previous or scenes that I already thought would happen but now they, really, they can't really happen. So sometimes when you solve a problem, you're creating another problem and that's what happens to me in the beginning a lot because, you know, this part is just really problem solving. And that's why I like outlining before I write the zero draft because a lot of the problems that would come up as I write are coming up now. So then when I start writing, I'm sure other problems will come up, but less than if I hadn't outlined. For me, Act 1 and Act 2A are really the hardest to get through. Act 1 actually not so much, because it's usually the one that's more clear in my head, but it's also the one that brings up more problems for me to solve later on. So I guess I would say Act 2A. It's just the one that takes longest for me. And in Act 1 and Act 2A is where I'm really solving those problems that I know will come up later. So later when it's time to outline Act 2B and Act 3, those problems will already be solved, hopefully, uh, and it will be faster. So, you know, even though it's like 25%, 25, 25, 25, like the novel divided into four parts, each part doesn't take the same amount of time to outline. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way. If it did, consider leaving me a like and a comment, it means a lot to me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!